And welcome back. iBrain ensures that students with brain injury and brain-based disorders access to a highly specialized educational opportunity that's based on their individual needs. We're pleased now to have us giving more details is the Director of Professional Continuing Education at iBrain, Dr. Peter Henry. And Dr. Henry, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Glad to have you. And when we talk about iBrain, obviously, uh, y'all know you got to be very excited. This new launch is getting ready to take place. But for our viewers, who, yeah. somebody who may not know all about it, give us a little bit of insight into iBrain. So iBrain, our mission is to serve students and families, right? The students suffer from brain-based disorders or brain injuries and a range of other um, disabilities. And our mission is essentially to research, to innovate, um, to kind of make sure that we are serving parents, right? We are making sure that the children are getting everything they need. And so it's really about building resources um, for staff, for families, for communities, for the students. And just in this new launch that's coming up, being able to serve the broader professional network um, and collaborate so that the mission that we have and the vision we have to change the world of rehabilitation kind of definitely comes you know, to pass. So we're super, super excited and I can't wait to tell you more about it. Yeah, so as we talk about it, uh, it deals with rehabilitation, right? Uh, and it, there's gonna be a new launch that takes place in January. Uh, but for somebody who wants to yes. know more about that rehabilitation process and what iBrain will be bringing out, uh, share with us. So the launch, the new launch that's coming in January is for our postgraduate and continuing education um, training program. And so in my role, I'm currently developing, working with experts, right, um, in the field of special education, rehabilitation, brain injury, uh, brain based disorders, innovation, technology-based research, um, working with a range of different experts to develop courses and trainings um, so that we can help or help others in the community learn more, help parents, give them resources. And essentially, we want to improve the quality of life for individuals with very special needs. And so this postgraduate continuing education program is not just going to be for professionals in the field, right? Like or related service providers or special education teachers, but also for families, right? For, for caregivers in general. And so what we're trying to do is empower families, empower professionals, so that essentially when they're serving this population that we care so very deeply about, they are they feel empowered to do that and they're on track with all the changes that are constantly happening in the world and we will be focused like i said on research and innovation as well and so because our mission is to research develop and implement special education related services um, and technology for children and students and even adults actually with brain injury and ba brain based disorders our program our postgraduate program is hopefully going to foster that kind of collaboration and partnerships that we want to build with various organizations and so that even universities right um, so that every anyone who's interested in the work we're doing they can have a foothold in using our program right um, as we serve them and even partner with them to um, kind of ed educate the public Right. This is brain, brain based in brain based disorders and brain based in brain injuries. They are really very, very important. And it's not, I think, talked about enough. Right. And so at iBrain, the work we're doing is really, really important. And we want to foster that inter interdisciplinary practice mm -hmm. um, and kind of make sure that we're offering those opportunities to the broader uh, community to help move the world of rehabilitation forward. Yeah. So we're gonna find our niche for sure um, as we launch next year. And as we talk about finding your niche, uh, we know that this is an accredited program. Uh, so people who are gonna be taking part in the accredited program. And as far as your teachers are concerned, what kind of professionals will you have uh, in the teaching environment? So I, I do wanna to touch real quick on the accreditation. I realize I haven't uh, mentioned. So we, we are recently accredited by the International Accreditors for Continuing Education, that's ISET, um, as of November. And so 
we are currently, I'm working with um, a range of related service providers and expert, other experts in the field. So um, neuropsychologists, right? Um, our, our vision teachers, our occupational therapists, our physical therapists. Um, we have assistive um, technologists at iBrain who are really, you know, really just into the work that we're doing and really passionate about it. And so all these services that we offer at iBrain, we have experts from those fields, but we're always open to bringing in also guest lecturers from different universities that we are affiliated with and will be affiliated with. And so even lawyers, right? Because a part of what we do here at iBrain is advocacy, right? Um, for families, um, for children with brain-based disorders and brain injuries. And so even working with lawyers to um, kind of teach and empower um, families as well. So it's not just going to be, like I said, professionals, but every every expert that we work with um, comes from a range of fields, but all those fields have to connect to our mission to change the world of rehabilitation, but also to empower families and to empower individuals with brain injuries and brain-based disorders. How do we get people involved right now? If somebody's out there watching saying, listen, this is something I want to take part in, what is the process for them getting enrolled and getting connected? Perfect. So that's an awesome question, glad you asked. So we will launch in January, mid-January fully, but if you want to get involved right now, you can visit iBrainNYC.org. There will be a link in January to our program, but please also feel free to email me at ceuinfo at iBrainNYC.org. So that's ceuinfo at iBrainNYC.org. And again, the link will be on our main website at iBrainNYC.org. And so you'll be able to, if you want to sign up, we currently do have um, free pilot courses available, but again, the full launch is in January and we're super excited. So if you want to be a learner or if you are if you are in, in research or innovation and you want to maybe be a guest lecturer with us, right? Reach out to me um, and again, see you info at ibrainnyc.org or phenry at ibrainnyc.org. All my information is on our main site. So that's where you can go to find any information. Our number is also there. You can give us a call, and we'd be happy to speak to anyone interested and give them next steps. I know you're excited as January is right around the corner, and certainly the doors <laughs> yes. will be open for you to have an opportunity to uh, meet students and students to meet you to take part in this very uh, empowering program. But I want to talk for a second about uh, your goal, because as people take part in this program, obviously, uh, you want them to have a certain takeaway. What's the takeaway uh, that you're looking for for those who participate in the program? Yes, yeah, so we're going to offer both in-person and online courses. Um, and since our vision um, for, for iBrain's postgraduate um, continuing education program, um, it was started by Dr. It was Dr. Victor Pedro, who's our Chief Innovation Officer, and our CEO, Patrick Donahue. And so the vision um, that they have is, and that, you know, I've, I've been lucky enough to be brought on to lead this team, um, is to provide learning, research, and innovation opportunities, right, um, in the rehabilitation and professional development training space. So our, our goal within three to five years is that we will also be accredited by other organizations, right? And so hopefully by ASHA, OSHA, right? All those organizations getting accreditation so that we can push out even more content and reach a larger target audience. Because we, re again, if you, to change the world, right? You have to reach a larger audience. So that's a part of our mission and we want to grow our affiliations and sponsorships. But our goal within say three to five years is to have over 1500 plus on-demand courses. Um, and they're also going to be in-person courses, webinars, and weekly, new weekly courses pushed out. And so a learner um, who, you know, signs up for, to, to take classes for, um, you know, with our program, with our postgraduate continuing education program, right, they're getting not only the opportunity to continue their education, right, but they're going to have resources. They are going to have opportunities to be involved in the research that we're doing. Right, they're going to have opportunities to share ideas with us that they have for innovation in the world in the field of rehabilitation, and so getting involved with us and with this program, it's it's really about strengthening and empowering everyone 
and making sure that overall the quality of life for this population that we're also invested and passionate about serving is better at mm -hmm. every step. Yeah. So that's really where we are right now. Dr. Peter Henry, we've got to leave it there, but thank you so much for joining us. Dr. Peter Henry is the Director of Professional and Continuing Education at iBrain, and uh, congratulations, the full launch taking place in January, and uh, we're excited for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, and thank you for having me. Oh, thank you. All right, well, we want to let you know if you want more information, you can visit the website at iBrainNYC.org, and of course, follow them on Instagram at iBrainNYC. We encourage you don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more open coming up right after this.